at the mouth of the Peabrew. This is gonna be a tough dive. For sure. I mean, seriously. This river is probably one of the most dangerous places you could dive in. You've got no visibility. You've got big caiman in there. You've got the vampire fish. There's some scary stuff in the water. Megan, problem is I can't put the net out. There's too many logs, too much current. The reason we can't use the gill net is the current's going to pull it downstream, and it could actually surround her and wrap her up. We're not sending you down until we spot something beforehand that's worth risking a dive. I've brought along this underwater rover, and we'll let this guy do the dirty work. Jeremy will first send down a remote-controlled submersible fitted with an HD camera to explore the murky riverbed. This rover can operate as much as 1,000 feet below the surface and could provide greater flexibility than any diver could hope to have in these treacherous waters. All right, just let me out a little bit at a time, Cappy. Yeah. All right, let's go down to the bottom. Here we go. See the bottom? Yep. Wait, 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 turn back. Turn back. Right there, right there. See it? Something made out of iron, looks like. What do you think that is? It doesn't look like it's uh, something natural here. It's small, but it could be a Jesuit marker or a portion of a marker. It looks metal. It might have an engraving on it. That settles it. I'm going in. 